752 right now, and Holly this morning is getting a lesson in healthcare career. She is at the MedTech Institute in Silver Spring, Maryland, where they train students to become medical assistants. Holly, it seems like one of those careers or fields that you will always find work in. Exactly, and I think that's the point, Allison, because it's no secret that it's a tough job market out there. So you need to go where the jobs are, and this is a field that is always in demand. So we thought it would be good this morning to sign up for a few classes so that you at home could see maybe if you have what it takes. We're live at MedTech Institute. There's four campuses here in the D.C. area. We're at the one in downtown Silver Spring. And this morning, we're spending the morning with Dr. Amir Kreshi, who is the regional executive director for the Mid-Atlantic region. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are and this you? is Marcy Arias and Iola Wilson, both who graduated from yes. this program, right? So yes. congratulations to Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for helping us out. So talk a little bit. Give me a, an idea of, of what is offered here. Well, in the Silver Spring campus, we have a medical system program, a uh, medical billing and coding program, and an ESL, which is a really big thing for us. Uh, there's many individuals that come down here who've had a medical background from different countries, the, one of the things that they can do is learn the English and then kind of go into the workforce. Medical assistant program is a, in the healthcare industry, is one of the biggest program or the largest growing program in the healthcare industry. Between 2008 and 2018, there's three million new jobs that are being created or wow. is being created in the healthcare industry. And medical assistant is actually, yesterday, uh, if you look at the Yahoo, is the number five, the portion of it. And then there was a medical billing. I think the MOS, medical office specialist, is a number one office out there right wow. now. So the opportunity so. is there if you just make the initiative to go get the training and then Get the job. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about some of the things that are taught here, and we'll talk more about big picture as well as we go well, along. Well, today we're going to actually, we're just talking about teaching them how to do an EKG and why do we do that EKG is to look at the electrical activity of the heart. Mm -hmm. This is a gold standard test for anyone who comes in for the chest pain, whether it uh, could be a heartburn for that matter, but this is a gold standard test. So we're just going to turn over to our skeleton to review our anatomy quickly. Does our skeleton have a name? Um, we can call him uh, MedTech Fred. Oh, uh, med tech Fred. Sure, put the pregnant lady next to the skeleton. That's great. Okay. So we're looking at this portion of it, and this is the rib cage. what we're looking at. So just where you see the, the tabs, those are the spaces that we will put in our leads okay. on this model. Those are known as precordial leads or chest leads. They allow us to kind of look at the heart from a different angle. We are really, truly measuring the electrical activity of the heart, which allows us to measure basically if there's a part if there's a, right. flowing or not flowing. Okay. So let's go and move on to this portion of it just to, uh, uh, to everybody's dignity. We have the leads placements. These are the electrodes and these are the precordial leads. These are V leads, one, two, three, four, five, and six. These are your limb, upper limb uh, leads, the left and the right, and then these belongs to your legs. Kind of looking at it, the superior view. Mm -hmm. the anterior view of the heart and the inferior view of the heart and this one would give you the posterior view of the heart understanding that the uh, you guys can start hooking yeah. this up and as you do that I, I wanted to ask both of you what did you think of your training here and your time here did you were you a little intimidated at first or yes yeah <laughs> right it's a lot to learn it's right a lot to learn how long did it take you to kind of feel comfortable um, mod two yeah, month two. Month two, your second month, and then for you. Oh well, I I went to the to the English program here to the ESL program. Mm -hmm. So and then I went to to the medical part and was kind of uh, I think the mall two was the same thing. But once you're in class, when you start, you're really really afraid of everything. But then you are more and more and more. So it's kind of. You get accustomed to everything, and then you want so to give it some time. Be yeah. patient. Yeah. We're, we're almost out of time, but so you would hook this up, and then you would get a reading, and then you would learn how to read. You would learn how to read it, but you don't, as a med tech, diagnose or anything. A uh, medical system will not diagnose it, but this is a generalized normal EKG that you're looking at. They want to be able to pr print out a normal EKG without our effect for the physician to look at it and diagnose the person. It could be, as like I said, gold standard test or general health screen test gives you a, how far fast is your heart beating and so on. And, and, so and forth. my uh, last question before we wrap up for this hour is like, how long, how much would you spend on learning how to do an EKG? Well, each class is about 120 hours long, gotcha. so okay. they will spend lecture and theoretical part of it in here, and then they'll go into the practice portion of it, which not only 
starts on the model. We also go into live bodies and oh, make wow. sure that they okay. do that. We got to go for now. MyFoxDC.com is our website. We have a link to MedTech Institute if you want to find out more information about the program and services that are offered here. Coming up in our next hour, I think we're learning to draw blood, right? Yes. Sure. <laughs> no. Okay, I get weak in the knees just thinking about it. But, no, we're going to talk about that coming up in the 8 o'clock hour. Back to you guys. All right, Holly. Thank you. It's 7.57 right now. Next hour, keeping a close eye on students in Fairfax County. Surveillance cameras could soon be placed in high school cafeterias and other school hot spots. In just about 20 minutes, we'll talk with a board member about what prompted this potential move. And time to get a bit.